Hey everybody, this Mike got a new craps um, app. I'm really liking it. it. Does everything I'd like it to do. Uh, it uh, seems to be work. It works a lot better than some of these other programs I've messed around with. Uh, what I like about this is you can do one dollar bets. You know, uh, so you could simulate bubble craps. Uh, the nearest bubble craps to me has a $3 minimum, so I could do that as well. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you what I've come up with. I've whittled down my two-step program down into a pass line bet with a, with a pass line odds. That's it one pass line one odds and that's all i gotta do i'm not doing any come bets field bets hop bets uh anything else place bets lay bets uh, i'm not trying to hedge this against that by the way when you think you're hedging you're really not you're just playing another number that uh has extreme odds against it. So in other words, if I was gonna do a, uh, a don't pass and I wanted to hedge with an 11, because uh, you lose on 7-Eleven, well, the odds on that 7-Eleven are pretty high. So uh, on the yo, the, the odds on the yo is pretty high. So, you're gonna lose it, or you're gonna lose the pass line, one or the other. But hedging doesn't work very well. I mean, occasionally it does, but for the most part, you're playing the odds on that particular bet. Every bet you bet put on this table is working on its own accord. It's not hedging anything. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to do $5 units. Uh, in today's economy, that's probably a bubble crap bet. <laughs> you can't get any uh, tables out there, real life tables at $5. You might be able to find a few, uh, but very rarely. So uh, the other thing I like about this game, it plays about the speed of an individual bubble craps, not a group bubble craps where you got a countdown, but when you're ready to roll again, you just hit roll. But uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to uh, pay, uh, to reset and ready for you to roll. Uh, so you have, to, it, it has a slight delay. This has a slight delay as well, so it works out pretty good. So I'm gonna do $5 on the pass line, roll. There you go, that's it. 10, uh, just like all the other uh, crap apps, it's gotta go four or 10. Two, three, 12, seven, 11, uh, on a pass line, come out, roll initially. But uh, it doesn't always do that, it's just a high probability. <laughs> So now I'm gonna put one odds, $5 on the odds. I'm gonna roll. By the way, I got $10 bet on the table. So I came in, if you look at my account up there, it was 788, okay? And right now with what I have out on the table it is $10, so it's 778. Remember when you put bets down on the table, it becomes the casino's money unless you win it back. Now, some of the bets you can pick back up, like the odds, but once you got a number established on the pass line, like in this case, we have the 10, you can't pick it up. That's casino's money unless you roll another 10. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep rolling. I roll a nine. Now, if you look down there at that little roll button that I'm tapping on, it takes a second for it to pop up. That's slowing down this game a little bit 
to about the speed of an individual bubble tech crap game. So, <clears throat> six, and let's see, we got a four. Whenever you have a point on a 10, you're gonna roll, there's gonna be a four. You can almost put a place bet on the four and win. Okay, so I got nine, and I got 10, I won. So now I'm up to 8.03. So I'm back to one bet on the pass line. And my goal is to um, get to uh, above 8.03, 8.03 or above, okay? So it is an eight, so one unit on the odds. And I got a six. And uh, there's two most popular numbers, six and eight. So now I'm up to 814. So my next goal is 814 or higher. So roll on a pass line. Okay, now I'm at 819. My next goal is to be at 819 or better. Pass line. Doesn't always go this good for you either even on this app. So I got six, so I'm gonna put $5 odds on that six and see what we come up with. I got another six, how about that? It's working pretty good right now. 8.30, my next goal is to be at 8.30 or better. One unit on the pass line. Eight. Okay, roll, one, one odds, eight, one again. Boy, this is doing real good for my demonstration. But I want to show you what it's like when you, uh, you're not having a good day. <laughs> Up there you can see a clock counting down to one minute and 30 seconds left. When you get up to that point, you'll get free chips. Now, that's the other thing I like about this app. I don't have any ads to look at. Uh, it's very plain Jane. It's very uh, strict with the rules. You can do anything with it. Uh, and it gives you $500 every 10 minutes if you want, uh, if you keep playing. So really there's no ads to look at. Now you could probably buy some. Uh, if I click on the buy button up there, you can buy some stuff, buy some chips if you need to but uh, heck they give you $500 every 10 minutes so <laughs> I don't lose anyway so I'm not going to lose any money I started out with 10000 on this app yesterday I'm up to 12841 uh, and that's after, so in reality I'm probably $341 up because I've probably gotten paid $500 about five times already. So anyway, that's the other thing I like about this app. You can find it in the app store. Okay, so that's, uh, I don't have a point, so I'm gonna do, I don't wanna do that. I want $5, $5 roll, four, and five dollars odds roll. So I'm looking to get to eight forty one or better roll. Eight. Eight again. Six. Two most popular numbers, six and eight and seven. Six, seven, eight. Six again. Eight again. And yo, 11. Seven out. Okay, so here's what I do I stay, I keep it at one unit on the pass line. And I go to two units on the odds. Now, it is, if it was one unit, I would be making it either six or 10 or 16 or 20. You do, it has to be an even number. 
Okay, so I got two units odds on the five. Roll. I rolled a nine. Wrong end. I rolled a four. And let's see what we got. A two. A two. Another nine. An eight. And a five. We won. So I not I caught up and now I'm at eight five eight. So I'll go back to one unit roll. Okay. And then I got I'm on the nine, so it's one unit plus a dollar. I get six unit six dollars odds on the nine. Okay. So I'm going to roll that. Yo, 11. Roll. 8. Looking for a 9. 7 out. Okay, so now I'll go 1 unit. Now, if I get to most, most casinos, are, odds are 3, 4, and 5. You can go 3 times odds on 4. Four times odds on five, and six times uh, five times odds on six. So uh, might as well get used to doing that. So if you're getting to where you're going to have to put down four units of odds, then you need to do ten units on the pass line, so that you can get past the three unit. If it lands on a four or ten, you can't do any more than three units per unit that you have on the pass line. So we'll just go here, we're on the, that last roll was a seven, uh, seven out. So I'm gonna do one unit on the pass line, back on the four, and then two units on the odds. Now, <clears throat> um, back on the four, of course, five, 10. If you have a 4, you're going to roll a 10. If you have a 10, you got to roll a 4. So this simulates pretty good of a, a real game. I don't see anything strange about it, other than the 4 or 10 on the come out rolls, which is very typical of every app. 7. So now back to one unit on the pass line. Why am I not increasing the pass line? The pass line is just there to carry to place the odds. That's all it's for. So I'm gonna. Uh, the pass line is gonna take care of itself. You're gonna lose on two, three, and twelve, but you're gonna win on sevens and elevens on the come out rolls. That's two to one in your favor. Okay, so we just let it take care of itself, and we just work the odds. So now I'm at three units. I, I think I'm at three units odds. So, well, first I gotta get a point established. Six, and I go one, two, three units on the six. Uh, and I won that. So now I'm up to eight, five, five, fifty. Okay. And uh, this also pays like the double craps, uh, bubble craps. You don't have to have like on the five and nine, you don't have to have odds and uh, even number units like six and 10, you can have a five down and you can win that and it'll pay you in 50 cents. So that's always a good part. So now I won that, I, I'm up to 855 and change, go back to one unit, roll. So the goal is to get back to where you were before you start going downhill. That's basically it. Lost that unit. I don't worry about increasing that pass line bet. I just let it roll itself. Eight, one unit on the odds, because that's where I am at this point. Seven, okay. We're gonna do another one unit on the pass line and two units on odds on the 10. So, <clears throat> so, 
It's like four and ten on the come out rolls. I, I don't get it, but it happens more often than not. Okay, so here we go. Uh, just keep rolling. We got eleven. Close, but no cigar. Nine. Hitting all around it. Okay, three. And eight. And eight again. Eight again. Hard eight. Ooh, hard eight. Five. They say no field. Five. Seven. Well, I just lost that. So I'm going to go back to $5 on the pass line. Roll. I won that. And that's how the pass line, we just let it take care of itself. Roll. Eight. So I'm up to three units on the odds. So that'd be $15. I won it. Mm. 8.53. No, I think we were 8.55, but I'm not going to play, keep chasing it. I'm just going to go back to one unit. Roll. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, one unit on the odds. Three. <coughs> <clears throat> Three crap, excuse me. Five. <coughs> Nine. Nine again. Four. <coughs> excuse me. Inhaled some saliva. Eight, so now I'm up to 864. Okay, so I need to be at 864 or better. Go back to one unit on the pass line. A little placeholder is all it really is. So I can just play the odds. Back on the 10 on the come out roll. Followed by two craps. <clears throat> followed by five, no field five, followed by a ten. I got it. So <clears throat> it pays two to one on the odds, which is really good. So now I'm at eight, seven, nine. <coughs> <coughs> now, okay, I want to talk about placing my odds. Let me, let me just do this. Okay, so... I'm going to put one unit on the pass line. Uh, if you're getting to where you're going to need more than three units on the odds, you go to two units on the pass line. And if you're going to have to need more than six units on the odds, you go to three units on the pass line <clears throat> until you get to nine. Then you're going to go to four units for 10, 11, 12. Then you go to five units for 13, 14, 15, and so on. Now, there's two ways you can do this. One is if, say, you're at four units odds and you lose, you can go to five units. If you win five units but you don't come back to your chip stack high, you can do it one of two ways. You can go back down to four units. If you lose, go back to five units. If you win, you go back to four units. Etc. Etc. Or you can do. I'm at four units. I lose. I go to five units. I win. Not quite back there. I go to six units on the odds. And if I win that, I go all the way back. Then your chip stack will be well above where it was. <clears throat> and that actually pays better when you do it that way. But you run the risk of getting too many chips out there on the odds okay so that's that's the other way of doing it or you can combine the two you know you're at four and you won but you're not quite back to where you need to be you go back down to three and you win 
you're well above. Now, if you bet one unit and you lose and you want bet two units and you lose and you bet three units and you win, you can go back to one unit because the three units you lost paid for the two units that you, two and one unit that you lost. Okay, so that's about it for today. We'll talk to you later.